Man, it's been a hot minute since I made an M50 video. But once I got this news, I just couldn't resist. Now I'm sure you're already aware of how awesome of a camera the Canon M50 is. But what's the difference between the M50 and a full-fledged cinema camera like the C200, other than the price? Now if the first thing that popped into your mind is image quality, well, you'd be correct in thinking that. But what is it exactly about the image quality of a cinema camera that makes it so much better than your Canon M50? I'll give you a hint. It's not 4K resolution, and it's not 120 frames per second either. All right, all right, I'll tell you. It's mainly two things, dynamic range and highlight roll off. Dynamic range measures the ability of your camera to capture extremely dark parts in a scene, while at the same time being able to capture the extremely bright highlights. The other aspect of dynamic range has to do with the ability of the camera to go through various levels of brightness without having harsh transitions between the lighter and the darker areas. This is what's called highlight roll off. And cinema cameras are gonna typically have a beautiful highlight roll off, which makes for very pleasing skin tones, while normal cameras are gonna have a harsher roll off. So those two things are really the main difference between the image quality of your Canon F50 versus a real deal cinema camera. Now, of course, when you spend that kind of money, you get other things as well, such as various exposure tools like false color, XLR inputs, the ability to use something called shutter angle. And even though those things are valuable, they don't really have anything to do with the image quality and you could get the same results without necessarily having those things. But there is one more thing that most cinema cameras come with and it's pretty important and that's built-in ND filters. And there's a lot of advantages to having built-in ND filters as opposed to using those screw-on filters in front of your lens. So what I'm about to share with you is going to give you all three of those things for your Canon F50. It's going to give you built-in NDs, it's gonna boost your dynamic range, and it's gonna improve your highlight roll off. And not only is it gonna do all of that, but it's gonna do it at an amazing price point. So check this out. What I have here is the Mica drop-in ND filter adapter. Now Mica had already made this available for RF mount cameras, but it's brand new for EFM cameras like the M50, M50 Mark II, and M6 Mark II. And Mica took it to another level, because not only is this giving you variable drop-in ND filters, but you also have the option for a a CPL filter as well as a black mist filter. So the ND filter takes care of one of the boxes that we need checked to be able to upgrade our M50 into a baby cinema camera. And now that leaves only two left dynamic range, and highlight roll off. And that's where the other two filters come into play. So first let's discuss the black mist filter because it's gonna do two things. It's gonna soften your image and get rid of that digital look that comes with many non-cinema type cameras. And this will take the edge off of skin tones, hiding minor imperfections and blemishes, as well as improving your highlight roll off and overall giving you a more cinematic image. So now that we have all of that checked off, the only thing left is to boost the dynamic range and that's where the CPL filter comes into play. This does a few things. Firstly, it reduces unwanted glare off of surfaces and skin tones, and it can remove reflections on a surface of glass or water. And that's why you see so many filmmakers and photographers using CPL filters anytime they're shooting vehicles, windows, lakes, or anything that has reflections on the surface. But the other thing that a CPL filter can do is that it increases the saturation anytime you're filming the sky, thereby giving you bluer skies. And this is especially important for Canon footage because although Canon colors are amazing, there is a tendency towards overblown highlights anytime you're filming the sky. And this is as close as we can get to increasing the dynamic range. And that's taking place by manipulating the light before it hits the camera sensor. So it's boosting the dynamic range optically as opposed to doing it inside the camera. And as awesome as all of that is, what's even more awesome is that the drop-in ND filter adapter is only 160 bucks. And if you want the CPL filter, it's an additional 80 bucks. And the black mist filter is also 80 bucks, which is super affordable because many screw-on CPL black mist and ND filters cost more than that. And those aren't anywhere near as good as having them available internally. And if you happen to have a RF mount camera as well, all the filters are interchangeable between the RF adapter and the EFM adapter. So you don't have to buy the filters twice. And I'll leave links below to the drop-in ND filter as well as the CPL and the black mist filter. Now keep in mind that this system was designed to be used with EF and EFS lenses 
not EFM lenses. And that's why it's called an adapter, as it allows you to expand your lens options beyond the limited lenses that are available in the EFM system. Now, if you found value so far in this video, then do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. So now that you know how to turn your Canon M50 or M6 Mark II into a baby cinema camera, I hope you go out there and get some amazing footage. But keep in mind, it's not only about the gear, a lot of it is gonna depend on your skills and techniques. And that's why I highly recommend that you watch this video right here, where I share five camera hacks that are gonna instantly make you a better videographer and give you that sought after cinematic look. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next one. It's Fulan Creative and I'm out. Peace.